Virginia State University's Reginald F. Lewis School of Business recently made history by becoming the first school in the nation to deliver its integrated core curriculum in a predominantly digital format. The school found a solution to increase student success while making their education more cost effective. Debt capital is much larger than equity capital. Do we expect the risk to increase on long term or decrease on long term? Debt is borrowed funds. At Virginia State borrowed University, borrowed we are building a better world. In the Reginald F. Lewis School of Business, part of that better world involves cutting edge technology and new and innovative ways to connect students to both the internal and external world. As we talked about earlier, we have lenders and we have savers. This may look like a traditional college lecture hall, but these business students are actually making history as part of the first HBCU in the country to deliver its core content digitally. All things that are important to my generation is now incorporated in the learning process, so it's really been a, a great help. The digital delivery allows students to access their books electronically, but this is a far cry from an e-book. Digital delivery gives students and professors the necessary tools to create a new and better world when it comes to learning. You can be right up to the moment. Uh, when a book is published, Basically, when it's printed, it's already out of date. With the digital delivery, we can continuously uh, improvise and include new items. We can draw in uh, articles from other sources. We can bring in videos from other sources. We can emphasize areas of uh, interest that are more important and more relevant to current topics that are going on. Professors say this digital delivery makes all the difference, perhaps not in the classroom, but in what happens after the lecture ends. Here's how it works. The school has entered a partnership with Flat World Knowledge, which publishes textbooks for higher education. Students pay a small fee to download their textbook. That fee so far has been covered by the university or by grants from business partners like Dominion. Now, instead of carrying around backpacks filled with physical books, business students can simply pull out their laptop, their iPad, or iPhone and access the book wherever they are. By having this available to them when they're not online, it becomes more portable and more accessible to them. The digital delivery provides many benefits. It's cost-effective, potentially saving students more than $5,000 over their college career. It cuts down on waste, and students have access to the books for their entire college career, unlike textbooks, which many cash-strapped students sell at the end of the semester. Long-term maturities. Professors can reinvent the book to fit their class and their teaching style. It's an open textbook. That means there's no proprietary copyright. Professors can rearrange the chapters, add or delete sections, insert real-time data, video, or links for specific assignments. The second digital provider with which the university has partnered is GoingOn.com. This Web 2.0 platform has been compared to an educational Facebook and has enabled the Reginald F. Lewis School of Business to create an online social learning community. My generation is already in tune with the online aspect of looking at and finding information. So when you have a community that's specifically catered to enriching your, I guess, your ex learning experience online, it allows for you to be more interested. So it's actually helped me get more interested in learning. The School of Business joined other universities like Yale, the University of Pennsylvania, and Columbia, who also use goingon.com. You don't feel like you're wrong when you're typing it on the computer instead of in class, you're like, oh, I just said the wrong answer. And it does not stop there. New and innovative technology has also changed the learning experience for students enrolled in VSU finance classes. This new trading center has put VSU students on equal footing with much larger universities. But Steve Holman is an assistant professor so whose class is using this trading center that to translate theory cool. to practical life. So the no ticker tape well. allows us to again use real life companies and cases use them in class with very projects and take those projects and apply it to what's happening right now with those companies. We can do mock roles in class. Students have the opportunity to trade stock with real money as though they were on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. Through Remember, Flat World, manage. Going On, and the Trading Center, the Reginald F. Lewis School of Business at Virginia State University has managed to meet today's Android? students where they are. IPhone? They are using 21st okay. century technology to engage students by entering the environment where the students work and play and using that environment to teach and learn. So the main differences that we want to emphasize.
For VSU Today, I am Gwen Williams Dandridge. And congratulations to the Reginald F. Lewis School of Business as it took the top honor at Governor Bob McDonald's 2011 Commonwealth of Virginia Innovative Technology Symposium for its Digital at the Core initiative. The school was awarded the prestigious Governor's Technology Award for Innovation in Higher Education.